What if you find a friendly cat hanging outside? It's important to check with your neighbors because she might have a home. Or she might lead you to a secret underground cat colony that's been reproducing out of sight for years, sending dozens of unsterilized cats out to create new colonies of their own in the surrounding area. With thousands of cats fighting to survive outside in Brooklyn, it's no surprise that they might take shelter underground in large apartment building basements. Some have been left behind by former residents. But more often, cats are placed there by a superintendent looking for free pest control. The problem is, cats are not good mousers, but they're great at reproducing. One female cat can average two to three litters of kittens every year. And so a few basement or bodega cats hidden out of sight can actually be a major contributor to the cat overpopulation crisis. That's why we are constantly mm -hmm. denying that cat is giving birth. Mm -hmm. Those kittens get old enough and move away. What road is that right there? We met a building employee to get a tour of where all the cats hang out. Hi, baby. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, sweetie. Show me. Where are the rest? Come on. Oh, aquí se está en tal lugar grande. Le vamos a poner trapas. Podemos trapas, señor. Y los agarramos a todos. Mira, aquí están las patitas. You see those paw prints in the concrete? This has been going on for years. And he feeds here too. Does he feed inside or just outside? And he'll let us in the basement too, right? We need yeah. to. It's very important to coordinate with the colony caretaker, or in this case, the building superintendent who feeds them regularly. Our goal is to do a mass trapping, where we get every cat trapped all at once and get them all spayed or neutered. While larger TNR projects are logistically complex and require more resources, it's actually the fastest and easiest way to fully break the cycle here. For every cat we can sterilize now, that means fewer sick kittens needing help in a few weeks. And we have to move quickly because there are other colonies nearby. And they come from underneath this boiler all the time. Mm -hmm. This cat wasn't going into the box traps that we set throughout the basement. So we used a drop trap and then transferred her to a regular trap. While this cat is friendly and might do well in a home, right now our top priority is finding and fixing every cat on site. Our foster program is constantly at capacity. So if we said yes to taking in this healthy cat that already has food and shelter, we might be saying no to another friendly cat who needs more help. These are the difficult decisions that TNR groups have to make every day. The building employees said there are only adult cats down here, so we've got just a few left to trap but even the most carefully planned projects often come with a few small surprises. No one knew there were kittens in this basement. And we can't even guess how many other kittens have been born down there. Okay, so kittens are in this corner. It's time to break this cycle once and for all. So with your help, we're building a new high volume spay neuter clinic right here in Brooklyn, providing affordable and accessible care to more pet owners and rescuers. And to give more cats like this the life they all deserve. Visit flatbushcats.org to learn more and donate today.
Remember, the goal of trap, neuter, return is to prevent more cats from needing to be rescued. By completing this project, we won't need to come back and scoop more kittens later, which means more foster homes will be available for other cats. Let's create a world where cats don't fight to survive outside or in basements. Let's do something big to address the root of this crisis. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. It's okay, sweetie. Show me. Where are the rest? 